that's a good question. You know, I'm, I mentioned about the very first thing that I do is, like, I find a topic and then I interview a person and I write it all out by hand in um, a steno pad. And so I will do that to everybody that I think is important in my book. So I'll find this character, that character, but in real life. And then I'll interview them. And then once I do that, then I think a lot. So it means taking long walks or long bike rides and just think, think, thinking, and not listening to music, not having the television on, but just letting my mind think. And then finally what happens is after a while, I'll have one really vivid scene in my head, and it may not be the beginning of the book, because again, I don't really know beginning, middle, and end, because I'm dyslexic, right? But as soon as I get a really vivid scene, then I write that one. And actually, the one that I just read you, that was the first scene of that book. So I write that. And then I think, 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 and then I write another one. And it could be like three months later or a year later or something earlier. And I write it. And then I write these scenes, and they're all out of order. But then gradually, they start to make an order. So I don't force an order on them. Like, you know how it's raining right now? When it started to rain, it was just individual raindrops, right? But after a while, puddles form. And it's the same thing for me through the writing. After a while, the shape of the book takes its own shape. So it's not me making it, it's the characters informing where they're going to be. 